Hi, welcome to Joanna C. Today is May 30. We are in coronavirus situation and today I'm here in my salon. And today I'm gonna teach you how, if you have business, how your business should be for this situation to protect all your customers, okay? And if you are, don't have a hair salon, don't worry. What I want you to be sure if your hair salon is ready in the proper way to protect you, okay? So this is very important. Okay, follow me. First, you can get into the hair salon if you don't have a mask. This is mandatory, okay? So let's put my mask, okay? To be protected. Okay, now I'm by myself, so I wanna, I want you to hear what I say, so I'm gonna remove it, but when I see somebody coming, right away I put it on, okay? When you get into this hair salon, or my hair salon, this is what you're gonna find, a station with hand sanitizer. You have hand, uh, hand sanitizer, we have alcohol, if you have uh, your, your, your phone or something what you wanna clean. Okay, so it's when, we, when we have a customer come into the salon, we make them to sanitize the hands, so they are very clean to be inside the hair salon. Okay, the reception, we have this acrylic, so the customer and the reception doesn't have a straight contact, okay? The other thing what we do is this, thermometer, okay, far away, okay, 97.6, so I'm good. I can get into the salon, okay? Because if you have fever, you have to reschedule your appointment for next time, okay? Now, we used to use this lobby that people used to wait for us when we are processing the kids, but no anymore, that's it, no more lobby, no more sofas. If you're coming with a friend, your friend has to be waiting outside. They can't come inside the salon, just the customers, okay? And when you're coming, if you come in early for your appointment and your hairdresser is not ready, you have to wait outside in the car, okay? You can be waiting and sitting here. Each customer, when they're coming and they sit in the station, they're gonna be in that station. Nobody can move them from that station, okay? Because that station is sanitized for that customer, okay? When you're leaving, when you wash your hair, they finish with all your hair, then when you leave from that door, then the other customer can come in when the station is totally sanitized again, okay? So each hairdresser has to be six feet apart or you can have dividers, like where we did here. So when you are sitting, you are totally protect, okay? Your seat, you can have contact with no one on your sides. You are by yourself with your hairdresser and everything is gonna be sanitized before you sit, okay? This is really important. Another thing, when you go into the hair salon, you have to bring your phone, your magazine, your book, your computer, why? No more magazine in the salons. You can use any magazines, okay? Because if you touch a magazine and then the next person can and touch the magazine, it's really dangerous. So no more magazines. And those good coffee we used to see, talking with everybody, drinking coffee, reading magazine, no more. Why? Because if you wanna drink a coffee, you have to remove your mask. And this is not allowed in the salon. You have to keep it on all the time. When you get in, until you get out, nobody can remove the mask. Okay, so we have the manicure station. Everywhere you're gonna find a little station with sanitizer. Okay, so it's no excuse to get clean your hands. The manicure, we have the same like the reception. Okay, you do your nails and you put your hands under the hole. Okay, and then we have the shampoo station and we have the same, we have dividers. So nobody can see sitting next to us, somebody else. You are very protected, okay? So when you are doing your shampoo, the assistant, they have the mask and they have this, where they can put it on, okay? So when they do your shampoo on top of your face, it's no contact, okay? It's nothing on top of the customer face. The customer used to come to their little room, dress room, and they used to take the rope and put it on. But no, they are not allowed. They have to ask for help. When you have to get your rope, I'm gonna show you how we get it, so you can have, be sure nobody touch it and it's totally clean. 
everybody who has a hair salon, they should put a sign where they say ask for help because if you touch the product and then the next person come and touch the same product, they can be contagious. So what I recommend to put a sign so nobody touch your products, it's just the hairdresser or the reception who's gonna do it for you, okay? This is one thing. This is what we have, individual bags, okay? With your rope and an and dispensable cape. So just the customer open the bag and put it in. Now, if you wanna go to the bathroom, and then when you're coming out, you're gonna have another station, another sanitizer station. And you have signs everywhere. So we always try to remember you to clean your hands and to get everything good so everybody can be safe at the salon. We have signs even with tips. If you come, if you go walk on the salon, you're gonna find all the time paper with tips, how to prevent yourself no, just in the salon, outside, how to protect yourself because we are very worried about to be sure everybody's safe here what home. What I used to do is take one customer, then their customer was waiting in the lobby and then I take another one and switching people, use the same station for more than one people, no anymore, okay? So I used to do like maybe 15 people in one day. I, now I do five, six, but you know what? We are safe, that's what is important. Minimalist, try to keep your salon like a minimal, minimalist style. The less you have, the better, because you don't have to clean too much. If you have a lot of product, you have a lot of stuff in each station, you're gonna need to sanitize each stuff. But if you don't have nothing and you keep everything inside the closet, inside the, uh, no, on top of everywhere, you don't have to clean too much and you keep uh, yourself and your customers safe. I hope you like it. If you have any question, if you are opening your hair salon again, or you are the customer and you're concerned about something, please comment below, write whatever you wanna ask me, and I'm gonna be very happy to answer those questions. I love everybody. Please stay safe, protect yourself, and protect the other people. I see a lot of people walking without masks, okay? Don't be selfish. Protect you and protect the rest of the people. I love you guys and I see you next time.